hey guys and welcome back to another video today in this video i'll be showing you guys how you guys can create digital mind maps on your ipad whether that's on your ipad phone or laptop so without any further ado let's just get right into the video okay so the first tip is to download the app xmind xmind is an app where you can create digital mind maps on your ipad phone or even your laptop the only drawback is that it won't sync for the syncing option you have to pay for it so we're not going to do that i just used a free trial one so over here the next tip is to choose the any template so over here once you've opened the app this is how it'll look like then you're just going to click on the plus button and then choose any of these templates they have so many varieties of templates that you can choose from from bar charts to different types of mind maps and yeah like a lot and especially if you do it on your laptop, you get even more options. So over here, I'm just going to choose this basic one for now. And the third tip is to customize and edit. So basically, over here, now you can edit and all the text that they have given. And you can write it however you want it. All you got to do is press and hold and on the text or double tap on it. And then you can um, just erase it and write whatever you want. So over here, you can double tap and write it everywhere. And they also have some other cool features, which I will be showing in a few seconds. So over here, let's say you wrote that. And so now if you want to like, let's say, write a subtopic on the bottom of it, all you got to do is double tap that on top. So over here, as you can see, right here. And there's also over here, you can add a note as well. So all you got to do is click on the box you want and then click on the note button. And if you click on this plus button here, they give all sorts of options like hyperlinks and all sorts of other tools that you can use. And then over here, this is called like a floating topic. Basically, it's a little box where you can drag and uh, drop it anywhere you want. So if I zoom a little bit in. So over here, I'm going to press and drag on it and I can like put it over here. And there you go. That's your floating topic. It's connected to that first subtopic. And then over here on the bottom corner of the right, there's two different options for adding a subtopic and a relationship topic. So over here, that's how you can write it. And then you can also add more right next to it. So over here, as you guys saw me, I clicked on that bottom thing. And if I do it again and click that same button and again, it'll pop up like this. So pretty cool. And so there you go. And then you can also change the theme of the mind map as well. So here they give you all sorts of colors. So this is like the black one. Here's the white one into red font and like that. So pretty cool. You can customize it however you like. And so yeah, on to the next tip, which is renaming and saving the mind map. So all you got to do for saving is just hit that uh, back arrow. And there you go, it's automatically saved. And now you're going to press and hold on it and click on rename. And so now you can rename it however you like over here. I'm just renaming it as well. So right here, then you click on enter. And there you go, that's your mind map right over there. And so now on to the next tip, which is to import the mind map to your note taking app. So basically how I imported in mine was to take a screenshot like this and then cropped it out the size I want. And here's a bonus tip. You can also um, erase the background by downloading any background eraser app. But for this video, I'm not going to do that because um, we're going to be doing the main stuff. So over here, I'm on my note taking app. I'm going to be using Cola Note. So over here, I'm just going to normally like create a new note and like that. And then all you got to do is click on that plus button right there and then insert from library. And so now you're going to choose the mind map image right there. And there you go. Your mind map is right there and you can crop it or like uh, adjust the size and like that. And then you click on done and there you go. That's your mind map on your notes. And so that was it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video till the end. I hope you guys liked this video and it was helpful. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon for all notifications, like your comment on this video and on my other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.